If you are having long loading times in Fortnite Chapter 4 on your console, whether it is PlayStation or Xbox, here is a video and I will show you some simple steps in order to fix it. First and foremost thing what you have to do is power cycle your console. Here is how to do it. Press and hold the power button found on your console. Select power off and your screen will completely turn dark. Then remove all the wires, wait for a couple of minutes. After that, when the complete device is off and the wires are removed, Press the power button and hold it several times until any remaining power is there. This will clear the cache present in your console. And then connect all the wires back and then turn on your console. Second step what you can do is check for background applications. Some background applications on your console can cause issues with loading times. Close any unnecessary applications running in the background to free up some resources. Third thing is check your console's cooling system. If your console is getting overheated, it can cause issue with loading time and even on performance. Make sure that console's cooling system are function properly and the vents are not blocked. If you find they are blocked or if they have dirt, do clean your console specifically on the fan area and inside if you are capable enough. If not, you can take the console to someone who is expertise in that particular field and he can help you out in clearing all the dirt and cleaning your console will solve all the overheating issues that will help you load the game more faster. Third thing is check your console's power settings. Now some consoles have a power saving mode that can cause issue with loading time. Make sure that your console is set to performance mode instead of power saving mode that will help in giving more power out from the console which will eventually decrease the loading time. Next step is check for an external hard drive issue. If you're using an external hard drive and from there you play the game, check if that has an issue or not. Like for example, whether the slow transfer rate is there or the disk is full, something like that. If that is the case, I would recommend you to delete some of the unnecessary files from it or you can simply replace that external drive with any other drive or if internal drive is full, you can do the same with that as well. Next step is try using a different account. If you're using a shared console, Try logging with a different account to see if that issue is specifically with the account which you're currently using. So if that is the case, then the account is the issue and not the console. The other account is working perfectly fine, you can play with it. But if still it is not working, you can move to the next step. Now this issue can be a network related issue as well. If that is the case, well if you ever have any error regarding a network issues or connection of the game, simply change the network. What does that mean? Well, for example, if you're using a LAN cable, try changing it to a mobile hotspot network and then try the game. Majority of the network issues get immediately fixed with this trick. You just have to switch to some other network. Don't use the same network which you're using for the LAN. Change it to a mobile hotspot. See if that helps. Next step here is try disabling any VPN or proxy servers which you may be using. Last but not the least, change the DNS server manually. For this, you have to click on the Xbox button. Then you have to go to the system tab, click on settings, go to network, select network settings from here and choose the advanced setting. Select the DNS setting and click on manual. After that, put the primary DNS as 8888 and the secondary DNS would be 8844. Now this is a Google DNS server. If you need an alternate and a more stable one, that is a Cloudflare DNS server that is 1111 and 1. 001. If the console asks you for an MTU, add the value as 1473. Save this, restart your console and see if that helps. So those were some steps and I hope it helped you in fixing your loading time. If it doesn't help, don't worry because Fortnite have already acknowledged this issue quite a long back and they will provide an update soon. So you don't have to worry much about it when the update comes, it will eventually get fixed. But if it is not related to the update or not related to some any other issue. The problem can be on your account or an Xbox. You can try all these steps, see if that fix. And if this video helped you, please don't forget that like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.